What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce, and today is Tuesday, September 20th of 2022. Guys, in today's video, we are talking about my top five must-have pickups for this week's new comic book day, which is tomorrow, September 21st of 2022. Guys, get excited. This is a huge week in comics. There are so many good books to talk about. But before we get into any of those books, let's go ahead and go over our to-do list for this video and the first thing that we're going to go over in this video is my pull list that's right guys i show off every single book that i'm pulling every single week and normally it's a gigantic list because i collect a lot of comic books and there's a lot of things to be excited about and then after that pull list i go over my cover lover picks these are the books that i'm so excited about the artwork on the cover of the book and sometimes i show off books that i'm picking up and sometimes i show off covers that i'm just really excited about the artwork and after that it is my almost top five these are the books that are almost made the top five so i'm not going to go in a great amount of detail about these books but i do want to tell you guys about them because these books are also really really good and after that we go over my top five must-have pickups these are the books that i think are the best stories coming out this week these books have the best guts that's right guys the guts you reach in and you pull them out and you're like man that is some good looking guts and these stories are just the best stories to be reading right now, in my opinion. And that is a very important statement to make, guys. This video is all about my opinion. So if you don't like my opinion, that is perfectly fine. Let me know down in the comments below. If you're like, hey, Bruce, your top five is absolutely nuts. Your cover lovers are garbage. And that almost top five is not even close to almost top five. But... Let me know what books you guys are excited about because this is a positive video. We're talking about positivity, people. Let's bring some positivity into this hobby because there's so much negativity and I don't know why. With all that said, let me go ahead and show off my pull list for this upcoming new comic day, which again is September 21st of 2022. <laughs> All right, guys, my pull list, which you guys can see right back there. It's a little blurry for you, but guys, there are 21 new comic books coming out this week that I will be picking up. And from those 21, there are two new number ones, and there are three books that I have not caught, caught up on. So from the books that I am picking up this week, there are 18 books that could make my top five list. But guys, stick around and find out what made the almost top five, and then what made my top five must-have pickups. But you guys know what's next. Let's go ahead and dive in to those cover lover picks. All right, guys, there are eight covers that I'm really interested in picking up this week based on the cover art alone, and you heard that right. There are eight. Now, I am not picking up all these covers, but I am really excited for this artwork because some of this artwork is absolutely gorgeous. And the first one that I want to show you is probably one of the bigger books this week, and that is Vanish number one. Now, there are so many different covers for this. I went ahead and picked up my favorite, which is the Daniel Warren Johnson 1 in 75 sketch cover. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but I am also just a gigantic, Daniel Warren Johnson fan. I think his artwork is absolutely fantastic. And the next two cards are both for Harley Quinn, the 30th anniversary special number one. Now these were both on my comic book speculation and recommendations video, but these are also just my favorites. And the first one up is the Adam Hughes cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am also just a huge Adam Hughes fan. And the next one up is for the art germ variant. I think this is also just absolutely fantastically gorgeous. It's so good. It's so, so good. And the book after that was also on my comic book speculation recommendations video, and that is the Usagi Ujimo number 31, the 2022 online exclusive variant. Now you can pick this up at idw.com. Go ahead and head over to the website and pick one up for yourself. Now the next four books were not on my comic book speculation recommendations video. And the first one that I wanna share with you guys is for Nightwing number 9060 cover A. This is obviously an homage to the Brady Bunch and it is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I love Bruno Redondo. I love what Tom Taylor's doing on this run. It is just fantastic. Next up is Batman One Bad Day Two Face number one, the Stanley Art Germ variant. Now, this is the 1 in 25 incentive cover, so this will probably cost you a little bit more than just cover price, but guys, this cover is freaking Fantastic, I love this cover. Next up is Vampirella Strikes number five, the Pablo Villabos metal variant. Again, this cover is absolutely gorgeous and imagine having this on a metal cover 
so good. And the last book that I want to share with you guys, I have shared this guy's cover art for the last few weeks, I believe. This is for Van Helsing, Flesh of My Blood, number one, the Jeff Spokes cover, which is the cover A. I am just loving what Jeff Spoke is doing on a lot of these covers. They're just gorgeous. They are just fantastic, and I love them. So those are my eight cover lover picks for this week, guys. What did you guys think? Did you like any of them? Did you not like any of them? Are there any covers that I missed, guys? You know what to do. Let me know down in the comments. And with those out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into my almost top five. All right, guys, there are six books on my almost top five list. These books were so good, they almost made the top five, but they just didn't make the cut. So let's find out what these books are. And the first one up is Nightwing number 96. Like I said, when I was talking about the cover A for this book, this series is just fantastic. Tom Taylor is doing such an amazing job. Now, we'll say this is a little late to be diving into this run. This is issue 96. His run started on issue number 78, so I would suggest collecting the trades and then getting caught up and then just enjoying this book because it's so so good. Next up is Strange number six. Now this book has been fun from the get-go. Right from the jump I think is the words that the kids say and this series is definitely worth picking up if you want to see a new Doctor Strange which is a super duper badass character and Clay is strange. So so good. Next up is DC vs Vampires All Out War number three. Matthew Rosenberg is doing such an amazing job on this series. I'm really enjoying it. I like to see this gigantic cast of character in this Elseworlds Tales that is just so fun and a lot of people are dying and living. It's it's just so good. It's just so good. Next up is Black Adam number four. Guys, this book is so good. It's such a surprise hit. It's a 12 issue maxi series. Get in now while well, the series has just come out a few months ago. It is so good and the artwork is amazing. Next up is Barbaric number two. And this book came real close to making the top five list because it is so fun. Lots of swearing, lots of craziness happening in this book and again there's more vampires in this book and it's really good next up in the last book on my almost top five is batman one bad day two phase number one now the main reason why this book did not make the list is because these are one shots written by different creators this one is written by mariko tamake and i like her but i don't love her like Tom King, I'm a bigger fan of him, and man, that Riddler One Bad Day was so good. It was so good. The artwork was fantastic by Mitch Gerrard. The writing by Tom King was amazing, but this one has a different creative team. I'm picking it up, and I'm hoping, I am hoping that I am pleasantly surprised with this book, and it's better than what I think it's going to be. It could be really good, or it could be meh. So that's why that book did not make the top five list. Now, those are the six books on the almost top five. Let's go ahead and dive in to my top five must have pickups. All right, guys, the book that's in the number five spot is Batman The Night, number nine. This is the penultimate issue, which is the issue right before the finale. And this book is written by Chip Zdarsky and art by Carmine D. Giamendimencio. I'm always butchering your last name, Carmine. I apologize. But guys, if you have not read this book, you are missing out on an amazing tale of the beginning of Batman's training. Now, there have been other stories that cover this almost same exact topic, but I think Chip Zdarsky is doing a stellar, a fantastic job. Now, there have been some reviews on this that they say that uh, Chip Zdarsky's added in some kind of like bisexuality to Batman in this series. I think that's a little bit of a stretch, but doesn't matter because this series is so freaking good. In my opinion, I am a huge fan of Chip Zdarsky. I first read Chip when he was doing his Daredevil run over at Marvel and he came over here, he's doing this. He's also writing Stillwater. There's just so many good books that this guy is writing and I absolutely love his writing style. And I think Batman The Night is one of the best series right now for Batman, in my opinion, again. Opinions are like butts. Everyone's got them. All right, guys, that is a book that's in the number fives. But oh, also, Carmine's work on this book is stellar. It's fantastic. It's such gorgeous artwork. It makes the book just that much better. All right, guys, now with that said, let's go ahead and dive in to the number four book. All right, guys, sitting at the number four spot is probably going the book that's going to have the most sales this week, and that is Vanish number one, written by Donnie Cates, art by Ryan Stegman. And the reason why this book is on this list is because my buddy Cole over at Cole's Comics Claims had a preview reader copy of this book, and he said this book was about magic. It has a lot to do with magic and a kid, and he's learning, and then something happens at the school. I don't know. I don't know. I heard magic. I immediately thought, oh, my God, is this like a dark, twisted take on Harry Potter or something like that? I'm in. I love magic. Magic is like 
I don't know. It's this thing inside me that I absolutely love when stories like Harry Potter or other books have a little bit of magic in it. It just makes it that much better. And with Ryan Stegman on the artwork, I cannot wait to look at this book. It's got such gorgeous artwork. And I will say, Donny Cates' first issues on books are usually stellar. They're amazing. He has, he has a way to like throw this hook out and like reel me in. He got me and he's pulling me in. I cannot wait to get my hands on this book. I'm super excited, if you cannot tell. Guys, I'm probably gonna pick up multiple copies for the cover, not spec or anything, just because some of the covers are really, really good. So, number four, Vanish. Let's find out what number three is. All right, the book that's in the number three spot is a good one. It's a big one. Stephanie reads this book, so you know it's got to be good. I'm talking about Deceased War of the Undead Gods, number two, written by Tom Taylor, art by Trevor Hershine. And if you guys have not been reading this book, you guys are missing out. Tom Taylor is crafting this amazing Elseworlds tales with zombies and heroes, and it's just so good. So good. This is volume three, so you have a lot to get caught up on. There was also like a, a side story in there somewhere, so there's just even more reading to do, but all the reading leading up to this was absolutely fantastic. Stephanie cried during volume one. She enjoyed volume two, and I am loving every single book, and Trevor Hershine's artwork is absolutely fantastic. I love the way he draws zombies. It's so good. And man, issue number one of this series, so good. So good. All right, guys. Zombies, heroes, Lots of heroes dead, lots of villains dead, and that is my pitch to you to be reading this book. Pick up the trades, get caught up, and read this book. All right, guys, let's find out what my number two is. All right, guys, the book that's in my number two spot is a fantastic book, but it's a second volume of a book, and I'm talking about Wind Thrown in the Sky, number two drops this week from my man, James Tinney IV, and the art by Michael Dalanis is some of the best, especially for this type of book. It kind of feels like kind of like a teenage or an older teenage book, and it has love, and it has overcoming obstacles, and overcoming differences, and people not liking each other for silly differences, and then going to war over those differences, and then people trying to stop that war and there's fairies and there's trolls and there's uh i don't know magic and weird things and it's so good it is so good but the main thing i love about this story is that the characters are growing you're seeing them grow and you're seeing them change and the reasons why they're changing and they're becoming better people and that is some of the best storytelling and james sitting in the fourth is doing such a fantastic job and the artwork again by michael delantis is so good now this is volume two you would need to go back and read volume one to really grasp the story fully but guys it's worth your time to go pick that up and that first volume was written as a trade and then released in single issue volumes and didn't read as well so you pick that up in a trade you enjoy that trade and then you can come join us for volume two wind throwing the sky which was actually written as single issues so they will flow so much better and then issue number one flowed so well so good there's so many good things in this book guys and the artwork is fantastic i'm rambling let's wrap this up wind Throw in the sky, worth your time, worth your money, pick it up. Let's find out what my number one book is. All right, guys, my number one book might shock some of you, but some of you probably not because you know me. You've been watching my videos for a long time. But the number one book that I am most excited about this week, which is a little bit of a shock even to me, is Avengers Forever issue number nine drops this week from Jason Aaron and art by Aaron Cooter. Guys, this book is absolutely amazing. You know I love Elseworlds Tales. When you can take a really popular character and then spit it on its head and make it even cooler because you're tired tired of that same Captain Marvel over and over and over again. I don't want to see Carol Danvers like that anymore. Well, in issue number nine, we're going to get a bunch of versions of Carol Danvers because we're being introduced to the Carol Corpse. What the hell is the Carol Corpse? I don't know. In the last issue, we get introduced to a very grumpy Thor who hated his hammer, but he learned to be an even be better and cooler and more badass god without his hammer. It is so cool, but the hammer follows him? It, I don't know. It was so cool. 
I am loving all the twists on the characters that we know and love, and that is what is making this series so great. Now, I do believe this is supposed to tie into the main Avengers run at some point, which I have stopped reading since issue number like 30 or something, because I just didn't like what Jason Aaron was doing. I thought the writing was sloppy, it was tired. It was just, it didn't seem like he was putting his heart into it, but this, it feels like his heart is into it. He's enjoying what he's writing, and you can tell with every single issue, it's getting better and better. The story is building and building. It's like this whole huge scope is finally, it's like, it's he's shaping it. He's doing such a good job shaping it and I'm loving it. Again, I am a sucker for Elseworlds tales. And that is probably why I love this story so much. But the writing in this is absolutely fantastic. And Aaron Cooter has been on most of the issues, not all the issues. So if you go back and collect issues one through eight, he's not on every single one. But the issues that he is on, those issues pop more than the others. I don't know why his artwork with Jason Aaron is absolutely fantastic. Issue number eight with Thor was incredible. It was so good. I was like, when I finished reading that, I was like, oh my God, bring on issue number nine. I want to see the Carol Dammer courts because this looks amazing. All right, guys, those are my top five comics that I am most excited about coming out this week. Huge week in comics, huge video today. All right, guys, this is the end. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, guys, you guys have made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Now, guys, if you guys have made it this far, you guys know exactly what you are. You guys are legends. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. Now, this is your moment to shine. Go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know what your top five list is this week. Also, if you have any cover lover picks, if you have any almost top five, do you have as many books on your pull list as I do? 21 is so many comics, but guys, if you go to League of Comics Geeks and you check out this week's books, there are so many. The list goes on and on. There are just so many books. And guys, Vanish is coming out. I'm so excited for Vanish Wind. And that Avengers Forever is such a good series. All right, guys. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and get yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notification and smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. And I will catch you guys on Thursday with my comic book speculation recommendations video. All right, guys. Have yourself a great week. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.